All right, we got uh, one of these Pro Stock Harley cranks in the balancer, and uh, we got some issues we're gonna have to work out. So uh, hang loose, and we'll bring you in here and show you what all was going on. All right, so th these t two of these cranks were done at the same time, is is my understanding for the team we we working for and this crank has two small pieces of mallory and then the sister crank has one large piece of mallory um yeah you can see one one piece and and i believe that there was some some boo-boos with the bob weight and the percentage that it should have been um balance too because on Harleys um, we, we we find that if we balance to a slightly higher percentage uh, they just they just do so much better they don't you know a normal V8 likes 50 percent but uh, a Harley just it just doesn't like 50 percent they you know we usually balance those and uh, uh, 53 to 56% depending on wh what the application is. But um, so we spun it, we built a bob weight and we done it at the, we done it at the higher percentage that we normally do. And so uh, let, let's, let's just spin it and then I'll show you what, what, it's, what it's telling us. And I think, and I mean, I don't know, but just from what I see, I think that they balance this thing in a single plane instead of in a dual plane. So come, come over here to the computer. So I, I've got the zone set up and it's, it's telling me it needs Mallory installed and it's already got Mallory. So right now the right side is 42 grams out and the left side is 87 grams out. So that's what leads me to believe that they balanced it in a single plane. So like if we go over here to the planes, this this will just show us total out, not a left and right. And so I, I believe this is what they done just, just because cause even if you had the wrong bob weight, these two numbers could be out, but they should be consistent with one another. So, I mean, this side would be, you know, mid fifties and this side would be mid fifties if everything was right. But, and I thought it was odd that both cranks have Mallory in the exact same location left and right. And rarely do you see a crank that takes the exact same amount on both ends. It just, it just rarely happens. But I mean, it happens, I guess, but it, it, it's rare. So, so what, it, what, it's, what it's saying is, so right, you see it turn green. So right there on the right side, which is, which is here. So it wants a piece of Mallory right there. So we've already got a piece of Mallory and that ain't quite centered. If you, if you look at it, it's, you know, those two pieces are to the left a little bit, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come in and put probably a half inch piece here and a half inch piece here to work this side out. And then the other side needs so much that it's asking for two pieces. So we're gonna end up over here. Yeah, we'll end up putting a one inch slug on this side and a one inch slug on this side. And then once we get the Mallory in, I'm sure we'll probably just have to touch, cause I assume we just don't want holes in the crank. And so we'll grind the counterweights nice and pretty to bring in the balance instead of, you know, like normal on a car, we just drill a bunch of holes. But this thing is dry sump, so 
the holes may not make a real big deal, but I just assumed that they didn't put any holes in it. And because and the other one's been ground on a, a lot. So I'm going to record what, how bad this one is. And then we're going to set up the other one and spin it and just see if, if they're consistent. Because it's just really odd that a $4,000 crankshaft is what, 45 grams off from one side to the other. That's just really, that's just really crazy to me. So give us just a second and we'll tear this down and set up the second crank and then we'll, we'll uh, get the camera back out and we'll spin it and see what it says on the, on the other one. All right, so we got this one in and uh, one thing, come over here and look 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 straight on at it you can see how much they've ground off of this side versus the height on this side i mean that's that's probably a quarter inch difference so they've really been working on this side a lot so i'm anxious to see the left or right on, on this crank compared to the other one so let's give it let's give it a spin see what she says Belt slipping. That sounds a little better. All right, so it's uh it's super close, but it's it's different. So this side is this left side is 60 and the other one was mm, what I do with my paper 87 so they are this this crank is much closer much much closer than the other crank but it's still asking for so it still wants one slug over here and we'll have it and it's the same problem so let me let me get it green right there so you can see it's all, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it ain't quite centered, but it's close. It's really close. So we'll end up having to put two small pieces on either side of that big piece. And then over here, we'll have to put, yeah, two, let me get it. So, yeah, it's about the same way. So we'll end up having to put a, a larger piece, like probably half inch pieces over here on each side and then one inch slugs over here on each side. So, and supposedly both of these cranks were balanced to the same bob weight. And you see that we've got, I mean, we're, we're within six grams on the right side of one crank to the other. But on the left side, we're 27, 27 grams different. So again, I think that they, they done a single plane balance when they, when they done it, I, I feel confident. But they said they run, they put one of these cranks in and tried it and it shook, it shook the bike really bad. So, and I can see why, I mean, that's, that's just excessive. So, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing set up. It'll, it'll be another video, 
we're gonna get this thing set up and we'll do we'll do the Mallory in both cranks at one time and then we'll spin them and then we'll have to fine tune them to, to, to bring it in but I I feel sure that we're gonna have to, to grind all these counterweights to, to bring it in to the to the final dimension. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, we'll do another video when we install the Mallory, and then and then we'll go from there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.